MEDAR stands for Meteorological Aerodrome Report. It's like a snapshot of what's happening in the atmosphere at a specific airport. A weather selfie taken by the airport that tells us what it sees and feels. For every single pilot and air traffic controller, the weather selfie is a daily routine. But here's the catch. The MEDAR report is written in a secret language, a mysterious code that only weather experts can decipher. It's a secret spy message, but instead of spies, we have the weather geeks decoding it. Watch the video until the very end to see why this report is a matter of life and death in aviation, and also learn the best way to check every single MEDAR report around the world. Now let's break down the MEDAR report into bite-sized pieces. Each report starts with the airport's ICAO code, like the airport's secret agent name. For example, Kilo Juliet Foxtrot Kilo for John F. Kennedy International Airport, or Echo Golf Lima Lima for London Heathrow. These codes are like the secret entrance of the weather headquarters at each airport. A full list of all the airport codes can be found in the ICAO document 7910. If you want to learn more about ICAO, check out this video here. Next we have the date and time. It's like the timestamp on a classified document telling us when the report was last updated. This helps us know if it's fresh off the press or outdated. The timestamp is six numbers with the letter Zulu at the end. And how is this supposed to tell the time? The first two numbers are always the current date, and the next four are naturally the time, in 24-hour format. And what about the mysterious letter in the end? This is the sign of UTC time. UTC means Universal Coordinated Time, which is exactly the same as Greenwich Mean Time. No matter what the time zone you're in, UTC time is always the same. The real fun begins when we unravel the coded weather conditions. It's a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols that give us clues about the temperature, wind speed, visibility, cloud cover, and more. After the timestamp, we always start with the wind, the sneaky character that can make your hair go wild no matter how much gel you put on. Besides the hair issue, the other reason why the pilot is interested in this is how the pilot prepares for takeoff and landing. The wind speed and direction are revealed using five digits. The first three digits tell us the wind direction in degrees, and the last two digits give us the wind speed. And just like in the timestamp, of course we need some weird letters at the end. The most common option is KT meaning knots, or MPS for meters per second. So if the METAR says 23010KT, it means the wind is blowing from 230 degrees at 10 knots. Hold on to your hat. And as you may have sometimes noticed, the wind is not always this constant flow of air. Both the speed and direction of the wind can vary. METAR has its way of handling this as well. For example, code 25005G15 means that the wind is blowing from 250 degrees at a speed of 5 knots, but the gusts can be 15 knots. This combination is very common as well after the main wind info, 200V250. You probably guessed correctly, yes the wind direction is variable between directions 200 and 250. The next stop in our METAR journey is horizontal visibility, which is another crucial clue in the METAR report. It tells us how far you can see before the weather tries to hide things from you. It's measured in meters or statute miles. So if it says 9999, it means visibility is excellent, almost limitless as in GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition. If you know, you know. To be awarded that 9999, the airport visibility has to be at least 10 kilometers. Unfortunately, we're not always this lucky. If the visibility is below 10 kilometers, it'll be indicated with four digits, for example, 2000 for obviously two kilometers and 0500 for only 500 meters. If the numbers drop to 0000, then the situation is really bad. You can see it to a distance of less than 50 meters. When the visibility drops to less than 2,000 meters, you may also see an additional part here. For example, R28 slash 0900U. This means that when you're on the airport runway facing towards direction 28, the visibility is 900 meters and the U is there to indicate that in the near future, the visibility is going to get better. Oh, and let's not forget about the weather phenomenon. After the visibility, rain, snow, fog, and all their friends get a special mention in the METAR report. It's like the airport giving a shout out to these troublemakers and letting you know what you're up against when you step outside. There are special codes for all kinds of things that you can experience outside in the entire planet. 
just to mention a few there are ra for rain sn for snow hz for haze ss for sandstorm and fu for no we're not trying to flip you off here fu just means smoke and to describe the weather more accurately these can be combined like bldu is blowing dust and shra is rain showers check the description in this video for a link to all the weather codes available clouds play a significant role in the meteor report too they have their secret codes too but don't worry we'll explain them so you'll see that it's not that complicated the report uses special abbreviations like FU, SCT, BKN, and OVC. To understand these better, imagine the whole sky being a big pizza, which has been cut into eight slices and the pepperonis represent the clouds. If only one or two of the slices are completely covered by the pepperonis, then it means FU. If up to four slices are covered by them, then it's called scattered SCT. If up to seven slices are covered in those juicy pepperonis, the situation is broken, BKN. And finally, if your whole delicious pizza is filled with so much pepperoni that you cannot see the tomato sauce base at all, it's overcast or OVC in that case. Got it? But after those abbreviations, there are also some numbers. What about those? That is just the altitude of that cloud layer represented by three numbers like this, FEW 010 means that at an altitude of 1000 feet, there's a layer of clouds covering one to two eighths of the sky. SET 050 is an indication of a cloud layer at 5000 feet covering up to half of the sky. And OVC 150 means that the sky is fully covered by clouds that are at 15,000 feet. Especially during nice and relaxed summer days, you can see a weird code, CAV OK, and nothing else. Now, if you're studying to become either a pilot or an air traffic controller, pay attention. For a fact, it will be asked in your exams what this means. CAV OK can be added to the METAR if all of these conditions prevail. Number one, the visibility is 10 kilometers or more. Number two, there are no clouds below 5,000 feet. Number three, there's no rain, thunderstorms, fog, snowfall, or those insanely huge cumulonimbus clouds, which often cause rain and lightning. Easy peasy. Next, we have the temperature, which is one of the easiest parts of the meter. Let's dive in with an example. 24 slash 10, the temperature at this airport is 24 degrees Celsius. Not making this too easy, there's that forward slash 10. And what the heck is that? Let's not go too deep into meteorology here, but the number after the forward slash is called the dew point, the temperature where air would be completely saturated with water vapor. To simplify this, the farther apart those temperature and dew point numbers are, the more dry the air is. Last but not least, there's one thing in METAR which is critical when flying, the QNH. This is the air pressure currently at the airport. And why is this so important, you may ask? because aircraft altimeters work on air pressure settings. In order for the aircraft instruments to show how high or low the aircraft is, it needs the correct air pressure setting, and the METAR is the place where the pilot gets this information. We're not here to cause you the fear of flying, but if the pressure setting in the aircraft is incorrect during the final approach and landing, the plane can be constantly too low and crash before reaching the runway. So as an aviation professional, be careful with this. So there you have it, the METAR report, a secret weather code that airport weather stations use to communicate with the world. Now you can crack a thrilling weather mystery and decode the atmosphere's secrets one report at a time. You possess the power to understand the secret language and unravel the weather's enigmatic ways. Use it wisely. Oh yeah, that useful tool we promised in the beginning? Check out METAR-TAF.com or download the app in App Store or Google Play Store. There, you can find METAR information on almost 70,000 airports around the world. Try for yourself how much have you learned watching this video. And remember to stay tuned at Live and Let Fly for more lessons about aviation.